It's just been a dream of mine ever since it, it closed. Well, at first, when it closed in 2000, we thought it was like the other five closures we'd had. But then when uh, we went through 15 years of closed, we sort of gave up on ever seeing it reopen. Every failed attempt to open this place up from the very beginning was based on developers from out of state coming in here and trying to sell real estate. And every one of them failed. None of them knew the ski industry. It's real heartening to see so many people that want to donate money and time to put a ski area back together. It was a difficult couple of months because we were all working so hard to get this place open and it just wasn't going to happen because we didn't have the snow. When we realized that we couldn't get the lift certified this year, we had to come up with another plan and that's when we, uh, we got creative. Our maintenance director had this idea and we ran with it and he fabricated this trailer out of a car hauler and we hooked it up to the, to the snow cat. We're trying to give the community something because they've supported us for so long. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. <laughs> <Welcome to> school. <laughs> it's pretty mismanaged um, in the years before this, so I didn't, I didn't know there, there was a hope. My dad's identity was skiing as he grew up here, and uh, it opened avenues for him. As he raised me, it became my identity too. There's still a hardcore group of people that want to ski, that want to come out and play. We can't control the wind and the climate, but we can be gung-ho about what we can do for three months of the year. <laughs> 